Hello, my name is Kyle Marco. I'm also part of Creative Gay Photography. You can also find me on Twitter at Creative Gay Photo or on Facebook at Kyle J. Marco. Today, we're going to learn how to put smoke into an image. Let's get started. So first off, we're going to open uh, the image of the smoke. We want the blacks as dark as they can go and the highlights as high or as bright as they can go. So we're going to open it up in camera raw. Now because we want the highlights brighter, we're going to uh, adjust the highlights to be brighter and we're also going to adjust the whites to be brighter. I think uh, that's about good right there. Now we're going to adjust the blacks to be dark and we're going to get the shadows to be darker. Usually you'd want to switch to vibrance and all that, but we're going to switch that in Photoshop. Open the image. And let's say we'll just do that. We're going to go and get a black and white adjustment layer. Turn it totally black. Then we're going to command shift option E to flatten and invert all the layers. After we've adjusted the blues and all that to make it brighter or as bright as possible. We'll then bring it over to our portrait and document, the document we want to put the smoke into. We'll resize it as shown. Just set it transform. And then what we're going to do is we're going to lower the opacity just so we can see and position the smoke where we want it to go. And we'll bring it back to 100 opacity and we'll set the layer blending mode to screen. This will then take all the black out, reason why we wanted all the black, and make all the white, the highlights, uh, appear. I think that's pretty good, but I still want to take some of it out. So I option click on a layer mask and it will remove it or invert the layer mask. Now what I'm doing now is I'm just going to paint it, I'm painting it, painting it and painting it. Just so I can fill the areas that I want to look like smoke, look like smoke. Now I really like this, so I'm going to duplicate it and rotate the whole, the whole layer, actually the, the layer mask, and now I'm going to rotate the whole smoke image. Now I think that's a little too smoky, so what I'm going to do is again hold option and click on the layer mask. And then I'll start to paint in with white, because white reveals black hides and I'll paint in what I like for the for the smoke just to make them look like it's smoking or something a little bit too much on the forehead I don't think I'll just take that away All right. Now I change the learn mode to the screen. I think that really looks good. But what I really like to do is actually like to pop the image a bit. So I'm doing my action around here. So I have to delete this front layer, and then I'll be Command Shift Option E to make a flat layer. Actually, merge all and flatten. What I'm going to do is I'm doing my little FDR trick that I like to do. It it has something to do with the HDR toning in Photoshop, but basically it brings up the detail and a lot of the dynamic range. So it makes the image pop a little more. I do this with all my images. If you want to know how to do this, a tutorial on how to do this HDR toning effect. I'll be bringing one out soon. 
So when this image is done, it won't look like what it looks now. It reduces it. So it won't look as bad. And it looks a little greasy. Alright, well I think that's a little not enough. So I'm just going to bring this up to around right there. I think it looks awesome, but the skin doesn't need it. So I'm just going to paint around where the skin doesn't show, where I want the smoke to actually show. That looks pretty cool. Well, I think so, anyways. So as you can see, it makes a big difference. That's the start, and that's the finish. Smoky. Well, that's the tutorial. Hope you guys like it. And that's it for smoke into an image. And remember, my name is Kyle Marco. You can find me on Twitter, Creative K Photo, or on Facebook. Kyle J. Marco. And always remember, keep shooting.